What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Sonata Arctica. Yes, indeed. How about that? Sonata Arctica making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Java Devil, and this is actually one of Java Devil's three prioritized requests for the month of August for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So here you go, Java Devil. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Java Devil want to see me react to this song by Sonata Arctica called Full Moon for the Sake of Revenge. At last we will have revenge. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I recognize this song, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um. I've heard of Sonata Arctica. I've heard the name. I've seen the name quite a bit, um, but I've never heard anything from them. This is actually the first song I've ever heard from them. So this this ought to be interesting. Uh, this was posted by Albert Zanda One. Okay, and the video has three hundred and forty-five thousand views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Sonata Arctica, full moon for the sake of revenge. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs>
okay. Those accents, the, those subdivision accents, dun 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 dun. That was really nice. I like that. Uh, the intro was really well done. Uh, leading into the song, a, a nice setup, a really nice setup. Um, once the song kicked in, it took off, which is nice. It, it didn't, it didn't go so fast that it you know left everybody behind. I'm actually really glad that they, they could have gone with like a double time feel, and I'm glad they didn't because it it feels a lot more accessible i guess is a good way to put it it's a lot easier to groove to um guitars sound good i don't hear the bass at all unfortunately i hear the keyboards i hear the drums i hear the guitars i hear the vocals but bass is not in the mix very well i mean i i haven't found it yet um i'm still looking for it crowd obviously knows the song i mean clearly because the the lead singer is interacting with the crowd and doing the call and response with them. So they they know it. He'll sing the first part, point to the crowd, crowd sings the next part. Uh, that's good. That looks that that's crowd interaction right there. Crowd direction check, you know. No problem there. Uh stage interaction we saw a little bit right before the song kicked in. That was nice. Stage energy's there. It's good. Um stage presence, yeah, I would say it's there. Showmanship, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in, in the intro in the intro, we saw a little theatrics from uh, a couple of the guitar players. That was good to see. Production, eh, not really. It's just lights. But you know what? Uh, like I've always said, production. Out of the six things I look for in a live show, production is the least important. Unless you are a production-based band, which these guys don't look like they are. So, no, everything so far so good. They're they're, they're hitting for par with everything across the board. So at least for par there are some things that are actually a little better than par so we'll, we'll see how this goes oh, i didn't see the guitar now i see okay well dude if you're gonna play a guitar get up to the front Sounds like we got a guitar solo coming up. Uh, I still can't hear the bass. I, I can't even find it. Uh, it's really being drowned out in the mix. But I will say, the bass player's got good taste. It looks like he's playing a Warwick. So, that's good. I like Warwicks. Um, the, the, the keyboardist is playing a keytar. Look, if you're going to play that thing, come out from behind your station and get up to the front of the stage, dude. Seriously, that's the whole point. That's the whole point of having that thing, is so you can move around the stage. You're not going to be stuck in a station, but he's standing back there, and I'm like, I don't get the point of the keytar then. You know, why don't you just, why don't you just play your keyboard? Anyway, uh, let's keep going here. It sounds like we got a guitar solo coming.
nice. Finish how you start. And that's, that's never a bad thing. It really is. And I, I like it when songs do that. I like it if you're going to have an intro um, and you decide to have an outro and they sound very similar in style. I, I like that. You know, begin with the end in mind, so forth and so on. I like that. Um, yeah, not, not, a, not a bad way to start your exposure on the channel. Not a bad way at all. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Sonata Arctica with Full Moon for the Sake of Revenge. This was a request from Java Devil. And this was actually one of Java Devil's three prioritized requests for the month of August for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Java Devil. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Somebody wanted to come up and say hi. She hasn't seen you guys in a while. Yeah. Say hi. She's a happy girl right now. She's purring. I don't know. I, I very seriously doubt you guys can hear her, but she's purring loud. Oh, man. She wanted some daddy time. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, little sweet pea. Yes, yeah, my Manda kitty. For those of you that don't recognize her, this is Manda. Yes, yeah, <laughs> she has gotten big. Yeah, I was warned. She is part of Maine Coon, so... Now, Maine Coon's cats don't get very big. It's the male Maine Coons that get huge, so... It won't get too big, hopefully, but she has gotten bigger. Yes, you have. Wow, okay. Well, you gonna stay here for a bit? Or you wanna get down? I think you wanna get down. I think you do. Alright, say bye. Say bye-bye. Alright, we're gonna get you down. Girl. Alright, well... As debuts go on the channel, this was actually a really good debut, man. I mean, it, it's not easy to uh, make a debut on the channel and get a high score, like super high score. And that didn't happen here. We, did, we didn't go into the nines, unfortunately. But we, we, we got a, a good way to start, though. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.3. Yep. 8.3. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Um, great song. <laughs> great song. Very well structured. I like the intro and outro. I like the idea of having the intro and outro in a song like this. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. And with that keyboard intro and outro as well. Finishing how you begin. It's... It's always a good way to start with me. It's like it's like reading a book, you know, cover to cover. You're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna read, you know, the first seven eighths of the book and not read the last like two chapters, you know. You're gonna have to have the beginning and the end, and that's not a bad way to have it. Same thing here. It's it's not a bad way to have it at all with with a good piano intro and piano outro. Yeah, man, I, I think it makes perfect sense. Um. The instrumentation sounded great uh, across the board. Guitar sounded fantastic. Really love that guitar tone. Um, not it, it was it was crunchy. It wasn't too thick though. It, 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 to be honest with you, I think it could have been a little bit thicker. But I, I'm glad they didn't. I'm glad they didn't because they could have run the chance of it becoming muddy, especially having a piano player, having a keyboardist on stage as well. So I think they made the right call with the guitar tone. Uh, the keyboardist did a fine job uh, with what he was playing. Sounded really good. Clearly, the guy knows how to play. Um, he had a really nice setup, and he utilized all of it, which I was really happy to see. I love it when I have when I see these keyboardists who have, like, you know, seven keyboards, eight keyboards, ten keyboards around them, and they really only play, like, two or three of them. I'm just like, well, then why bother with the other, why bother with the other keyboards? Are, are they just there for show? Are they even plugged in, you know? You're not gonna play them why have them on there why are you making your life so why are you making the life of your your crew so rough setting all that stuff up if you're not gonna use it you know what i mean so but he used everything up i saw on the stage even the guitar which we're gonna talk about a little bit later uh the drumming on this was really nice really nice drumming it sounded really good i like the setups i like the fills uh his double kick sounded really good it, it, everything sounded great from him i had no issue with the drummer at all um the bass player, I man, I tried, man. I could not find him. I could not find him in the mix. I kept looking and I kept digging, and I just when I think I found him, no, that was the keyboardist. So 
I'm sure he was playing. I'm sure he was, but I mean, he was he was really down low in the mix. I do not understand why. I don't get it. But anyway, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I I, I could see he was playing. So why we couldn't hear him, I don't know. Vocalist sounded really good uh, for the style of music. He's got a great voice for this style of music. Uh, he's got a great range, great power, great support, great projection. Uh, I, I got no issue with anything he did. So yeah, it sounded really great across the board from him. Um, I'm giving it. He, I'm giving it the 8.3, and people are like, "Well, what about the live show?" If I'm being honest with you, folks, the live show was kind of a non-factor in this. Uh, it didn't help the score. Then again, it didn't hurt the score. There were things about the live show that I liked. There were things about the live show I wasn't too wild about. Um, for starters, if, if a keyboard player has a keytar and they're gonna use the keytar, then the whole purpose of the keytar was to give keyboard players the chance to get away from their station, move away from the station, come out to the front of the stage, interact with the crowd, interact with the other band members like a guitar player would. And he never did that. He, he stayed back there the entire time with his guitar. And I'm like, well, then why bother using it? If you're if all you're going to do is stand back there anyway, then why bother with the guitar? Just stick with your keyboard. Uh, I, I was a little annoyed by that, if I'm being honest. I, I just I didn't see the purpose. Um, I saw a little bit of stage interaction at the very beginning during the intro. I saw a little bit when they all came together up at the front. After that, I didn't really see any interaction other than the one part where the singer came over and messed around with the uh, guitar player's strings, which I believe led to a miscue. Uh, there was the guitar solo. When the guitar player stopped soloing, the keyboardist took over. And then there was a point where the keyboardist stopped playing and he looked at the guitar player. And then he went back to playing again. And, I, and then on the next time the keyboardist stopped playing, you heard the guitar play something. But when the keyboard first looked at the guitar player, we didn't hear anything. So it was like, I was, I, I can only assume, and I, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I know that the, the, the lead singer come over and play in the, with the guitar player's guitar strings, that may have led to a miscue. So listen, I'm all in favor of stage interaction. I am, I'm a big, I'm a big supporter of stage interaction and doing stuff like that, I have absolutely no problem with, as long as it doesn't lead to mistakes, as long as it doesn't lead to miscues, because it sounded like we had one there. Um, now, me personally, I, I like mistakes. I do. I like going to live shows and seeing mistakes. Call me a sadist, but I, I, that's one of the main reasons I go to see live shows is I like to see bands mess up because, A, I want to see how they recover. B, I want to be sure that these people are human. You know what I mean? They're actually playing live, and when they have mistakes like that, yeah, clearly they're human and they're playing live. So, you know, like I said, call me a sadist if you want, but I, I love seeing mistakes when I go to see live shows. And I, we, that was a pretty big blunder right there. Um, the stage energy was good though. We had some movement around the stage. Crowd interaction was great, man. The lead vocalist interacting with the crowd, that was nice. Um, the crowd clearly knows the song. Uh, but that's about it, if I'm being honest with you. I, the, the live show, like I said, was pretty much a non-factor. It didn't hurt, but it didn't help, so. It, it, it was kind of a wash. So that 8.3 really is for the song itself, which I, I think it's a great score, especially for your first time on the channel. So good on you guys. 8.3, I feel good with that score, and that's where we're gonna stay. So 8.3, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.